For me, the, the guilt of motherhood began, I think, when I was pregnant and, and really ruining that night out on the tiles that I had before I knew that I was pregnant with my daughter. And you're thinking, oh, you know, 79 glasses of wine in one evening, will she be okay? <laughs> and, and it started there. And then the, I, I remember when I had her and trying to breastfeed and, and it not happening and thinking about giving it up, but just, you know, that awful guilt, but you're not doing the best thing for her. And, you know, if you, were, if you persevered, you'd be able to breastfeed. And, and I couldn't. And when I gave up, I just, I, I felt just really... How did you give up? I think she was fully bottle fed by about six, seven weeks and, um, and, and I, I was longing to, to do it earlier but, but that sort of, you know, no, it'll, it'll injure her health. It'll it'll longer. Longer. Yeah, exactly. And, you know, she, to this day she has asthma and she's been in, in hospital a couple of times with asthma attacks and now they're saying, you know, breast milk, you know, can help prevent milk, things yeah. like asthma and allergies and, and it's, I think it's a, probably a guilt I'll carry but with me. But how much worse if you hadn't breastfed her at all then? Well, I mean, it, you could look at it that true, way. You've got to kind true. of like diminish your guilt, haven't you? But it is. Yeah. We're on well, a you shouldn't feel guilty at all. Yeah. You should not feel guilty at all. Well, it, wasn't, it didn't suit you, it didn't happen, it wasn't right for you and physically it wasn't going to happen. Yeah, so I think you're right. I mean, I think I would have been a, a worse off mother if I hadn't. Have, but I think it's just because, you know, you, you want to do the right thing, aren't you? And, and we get so much information now of what the right thing is. Yeah. So if you can't do it and or you, you don't, don't do it, do yeah. it and if well, some women choose not to. absolutely find the whole thought repulsive. Of breastfeeding. I didn't like breastfeeding, breastfeeding at all. Oh, did you not? I didn't like it at all. And yet some women love it and they won't give up breastfeeding. They breastfeed feed oh, their children. Yes. 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 Yes, which is really weird. And I did feel guilty because I didn't like it. But then I thought, I did it for the same reason. It's what best for the baby. Like? Did you have pain with this? Or? Um, well, I had mastitis when they were first born. And that mm. was, that's that's thank, thank goodness for um, cabbage leaves. <laughs> <laughs> but... Um, no, it wasn't. It wasn't that um, I thought it was best for them. I just I I knew that I was producing milk, and it was the natural thing to do. You know, parents going back to, you know, a million years ago were breastfeeding their babies, and well, I'm I'm not any different. I'm a woman. My breasts are full of milk. I should feed my babies, and I hated every minute of it. I didn't get any all that mother and baby bonding stuff. Didn't come from breastfeeding. But it was a practical measure, and actually, it's so much easier than bottles. So, but did you hate doing it at the time? So I was thinking, I really, I'm only doing this because I feel I should. Yeah. Okay. Rather than I felt like I'm a doing cow. it because. Mm. Did you? Yeah, I felt like a cow. Did you ever have a breast pump? Because they yes. really make you feel like a cow. Well, that was the worst <laughs> thing. That was I did. I called it Daisy. I used to breastfeed one because I just couldn't cope with breastfeeding two at the same time because one would slip off. Yeah. And you haven't got a hand free. Oh, you can't have it any time. Get it by the ear with your teeth. Pull it, <laughs> pull it back on. <laughs> so I used to breastfeed one, and then when I'd finished breastfeeding, out would come Daisy, stick it on the other tit, and. <laughs> Yeah. And, I'm just, and then as soon as I'd finished that, I'd had enough time to clean oh. myself up and baby crying, breastfeed again. Oh. again. And that, I think that's possibly why I hated Probably it. Put you, yeah, I, I went away for a weekend when, when my baby was just four months old, um, which was lovely and romantic and everything, but took a breast pump. And I overdid it because hardly anything comes out when you first do it. You don't think it is. And then overnight, my breast swelled up so big. And I read in the baby book, you mustn't do it too hard, otherwise they'll think you've got a ravenous baby on your breast. <laughs> oh, and I was no. in such agony. Oh, <laughs> horrible. But did you feel guilty when you eventually gave up Yeah, the I did, but yeah. I had to give up because I got mastitis. I, I just wasn't a natural yeah. breastfeeder and I had problems with it and it just hurt so much and all that kind yeah. of thing. And going back to work... Yeah, then you kind of think, I mean, my boys now, they're, they're six and seven, they're obsessed with tits. And I think, oh, is it because I didn't breastfeed them? Because I was going, mummy, boobies, and you've got milk in your boobies, mummy, and all this kind of thing. And I say, oh, God, I didn't breastfeed them long enough. They're going to end up being pervs or something. <laughs> it's, it's funny how we blame ourselves for all these things and, and all of their, our kids' actions, you know, whether they're babies or, you know, when they grow older, like ours are a little bit. You, you know, I don't know about you, but I tend to, to bring it back to myself. If only I hadn't done that. If only, I, you know, and... It's, it's an awful way to, to be. I wish we could sort of... You do you know, need to practice yourself, don't you? But we shouldn't. Mm. Yeah, we, we shouldn't. always beat yeah. ourselves up. Yeah. We can never yeah. do anything right. And if something... It, well, we feel that when something goes wrong. Yes. And then it's like, oh, well, that's why it went wrong. When everything's right, we don't question it, do Actually, we? Actually, it's mm. true. It's kind of like the scapegoat, isn't it? You, you need to, it's like you need to find a solution. Yeah. Why isn't he or she sleeping? Oh, well, that's because... You know, I can't. You know, I fed didn't them a, give them I enough them, yeah, food yeah. or I whatever went back it is. To work or whatever it is. Yeah, mm. yeah I think I think the going back to work is a big, the biggest the guilt yes, trip for me. My, my little boy. I mean, even now he's six and he wanders around the house picking up money and going. Mummy, here's some money. You don't have to go to work now. Oh, they, oh, they hate it they then hate that you work. It. They hate me 
you going to her? And what about when you leave in the morning? Is there kind of other tears when no, you're no, saying no, bye? No, 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 it's not like that. But, um, but I, I've actually luckily managed to get my work down to just three days a week, which is so much better because I used mm. to be doing 50 hours work a week and never seeing the kids. Um, but they still will do this, how long is Cheryl looking after us, which is a nanny, and how long are you looking after us? And mm. they, but you're not looking after us many days. And I don't know if they're deliberately trying to make me feel guilty or if it's something oh, that they, they really It's hard, they and have hard but they do mm. have a knack. But the thing is, they, it's, sometimes it's done in absolute innocence. But because we do feel guilty, we immediately see it that way. Kind of, it's <laughs> yeah. almost a, it's an mm. accusatory statement or a question, and it's actually not very often. But it, it's funny, actually, a friend of mine, I mean, she always... She has this tremendous sort of guilt trip, and her children now sort of like grown up all the time. She's like, oh, I shouldn't have done this. I shouldn't have gone away. Her husband was working, so she would go away with him, and and sort of the children were looked after by nannies and so on and so forth and everything. And now the children are grown up, and it's she asks them, you know, did it make a difference? They couldn't even remember. We can't no. remember. Yeah. Exactly. It's, it's what we it. wear. Yes. 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 I know. I think that's the thing, isn't it? We wear it. We we probably should just let it go. Mm. I mean, I've. I've taken to, to thinking well whatever I do they're probably going to reproach me in some way mm -hmm. <laughs> at some stage because you do don't you you look at your relationship with your own mother mm -hmm. and you think well geez that was rubbish or that was good or you know <laughs> I will do that won't do that you, you know you take little bits and you, you do become mm. a little it's bit selective um, memory really isn't yeah. it, it is, and if you're unhappy then there will always be something and they'll blame yeah. you and make you feel guilty because Probably you actually are. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe you're right. And I think the thing, you know, you do the best job you can, don't you, mm. at the time, and with what resources you have. And I guess I think I think we probably need to be a bit more realistic, don't we, and, and not beat ourselves up. Well, but on the other hand, I mean, there are things you should feel guilty for as well, you know. And I think you know, there's been enough research now that people know they shouldn't drink and take drugs during pregnancy, mm. but people yeah. still do. And I've got a friend who shall remain nameless, whose child has real problems like attention deficit and hyperactive and constantly drumming the table. Well, she took some serious drugs when she was pregnant. Mm. Now, come on. Did she know she was pregnant yes, as well? Yes, yeah. she did. Did she not want the baby? Yes, yeah, she. Well, I think it was an unplanned pregnancy, but she was very young. She was twenty. She'd met her husband, you know, very early on, and he was quite in, a hippie kind of bloke into all mm. sorts of experimental drugs to expand the mind. And this won't harm your baby. I mean, this won't harm it. It's a cactus it's natural and maybe it didn't harm the baby but maybe it did but whether it did or didn't she's now got this terrible guilt that her mm. her son's behavioral problems are because of her experimenting mm. with these. and no doubt are oh, I mean well, they could yeah. be and they might not be I mean who knows mm. but I think you have to be careful when you you're have pregnant. to be responsible yeah don't you? because not just for your own well-being but mm. for you've got a little mm. baby and Whatever you put in your gob is going to go into the mm. baby, isn't it? You do so. get mis mixed messages, don't you? I mean, they're saying one minute of like you shouldn't drink at all, and next minute of like a glass of wine is actually very good for you. Mm. It relaxes you, it's good yeah. for the blood pressure. But how do you know where to... And then they say no alcohol at all. I think it's mm. probably safest mm. no alcohol at all when you're pregnant. I think so too. I think that's the required, that's pretty much the, the, um, the go now from the medical society. They say, we don't know, on, on alcohol I think they don't know, so they say, better off not to. But certainly things like cigarettes and drugs, yeah, that's documented that it's, a, it's an absolute no-go, so, yeah.